has told me many health problems that she has. Like, I don't know which ones are true anymore, which ones are not. This is my blood pressure medication. This is anti-anxiety. And if you saw me have a panic attack, I've been hospitalized by a panic attack. Pills is much worse than that, in my opinion. If she just take her meth, you wouldn't even know she took anything. She functions normal. She take the pills with the meth as a cocktail, and that's what gets up high. I've learned a lot of them will take the medication that they prescribe the methadone to either stay high longer or to get higher when they take it. She looks forward to having a drug that way. I personally think it's a feeling that she enjoys. The stigma medication, I'm allowed to be not not only people. <laughs> she can't even speak. She mumbles and you can't understand her. She starts to nod off. I'm out. She's not in the right state of mind, and anything can go wrong. I know that there have been times she's almost been hit by a car because she was high. Turn the pot on on the stove, nothing in it, but something in it. It burns out, boil out. Oh, Nikki, look what you did. I didn't do that. I just cut that off for you. I didn't even cut it off. I cut it on me, Methadone and these drugs, she had really taken control of her life. Like, God forbid, what if she overdoses on it, or the mixture of her pills and the methadone can lead to death. I just want to tell her, like, she's killing herself, and it's really hard to watch. Nikkei, 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 Nikkei. This is not her purpose. This is not the plan that God had for her life. Nikkei, Nikkei. Mm. And I pray constantly for her every day. Tell me what I have to do to make this all better, to get my daughter better. conditions in the Bronx at that time. In the area that we live is in, a lot of derelicts hanging around the corners. Kind of rough neighborhood, so ooh, she felt a lot. She dealt with a lot. I dreamed of having a nice home, like the Donna Reed show, Leave it to Beaver. And I knew at an early age that I had to get an education and that I had to get a good job or have some type of career in order to have that lifestyle. I believe it was the last day of high school is when I went into labor and Nikki was born. She was a beautiful little girl. She was wonderful and she just always seemed so smart um, and caring. I just imagined that she was going to have this wonderful life and I knew that she would want to be someone who was important, someone who did great things. He got caught up in drugs, going to jail, and that was not the kind of lifestyle I was going to live. So I always managed to make sure I went to school because I was determined I would never be held back. While my mom was at school, finishing her education, Nikki was with my grandmother a lot of the times. She kind of almost took over. And back then, I was really happy about it because I was still young, so her being there for Nikki it allowed me more time freedom. My grandma's right. She loved me so much. And I think she knew it. My mother didn't know how to show me love. So she made sure that she gave me that love that I needed. I set really high expectations for her. And she knew that if she, when she didn't meet those expectations that I was disappointed. Her mother wanted to ensure that she built a young lady 
of strong character and um, success. Nikki was in the Talented and Gifted program. She was in the dance program. I had Nikki in Girl Scouts. It's not just good to be smart. You have to be the smartest. She thought that, you know, be a strong disciplinarian was the answer. Sometimes I would spank her. Sometimes I would yell at her. But in my mind, in my heart, I wanted more for her. I wanted to save her from having to face certain things in, in, in life. There's a lot of times that You know, I just really had a heartbeat. Nikki seemed to really love the fact that she had a little sister. I loved her from the very first day. She took care of me, basically. She was the ideal sister. Me being able to invite my friends over and Nikki would help teach us the new dance move. She could do the snake the best out of anybody to me. Like, I just thought my sister was the snake queen. She was always my mother's baby. I would see her playing with tonight, and I would wonder why she couldn't do that with me. What was wrong with me? What did I do? I did try to balance the affection that I showed I don't know if I tried to balance. I was very conscious of trying to balance it early on. She just didn't know how to show me affection. And that time I had my grandmother. So I was okay. The one person that I had that I knew loved me was dead. I knew she was really close to my mother, but maybe because I was mourning myself. She didn't get too much attention. I had taken all the medication that was in the bathroom. I tried to kill myself. I don't really pay that much attention to what changes Nikki may have been going through. She probably knew you know. I think that's kind of when Nikki made her turn uh, for, for the words. It was a way of escaping. Okay, if I didn't have to think about my grandmother, I'd be in here. I'd have to think about my mother, I'd have to think about anybody. She resorted to staying out in neighborhoods that were horrible. And I couldn't understand why would you want to go to this friend's house, look at the conditions here, and not be at home. I was used to crack cocaine. After you do it the first time there, there's no more good feeling, it's just chasing it. When I really learned that she was using drugs, I um, applied to get her a scholarship for a drug treatment facility. That's something that Nikki always talked about, having her own child and having a baby. She was so happy and big. Oh, she was so big. And Imani came. When I first saw her, she had that same face. I mean, she was just perfect. And I promised her that I would always love her and I would always be there for her. After the pain medication, I started drinking again. But on the weekends, my mother, she always took him out. So that was my time to, you know, have fun and let Bruce go out. We began to see that Nikki began to slip back into going out and using drugs again. I realized that she was using and she was beginning to be neglectful. And I ended up going to family court and I got custody of Imani. She thought that she was doing what was best for Money, but I felt like everything that I had, I had been taken away 